Hi and welcome to my HTML tutorial. This is the first in the series and aimed at absolute beginners. Um, so first of all, what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. While that may sound complicated and computery, nothing could be further from the truth. Users often pay hundreds of pounds for simple websites that anyone with basic computer skills could pull off. Basically, if you know how to operate Notepad in Windows, this application here, then you, you know everything you need to in order to produce a web page. Uh, these first tutorials will focus purely on HTML um, with as few complications as possible. This will indoctrinate you into the idea of tags and how the system works without confusing you with too much knowledge to begin with. Um, I will show you how to format text, create links, add images and later on um, when we cover some of the more advanced topics I will start to include CSS as well which you may also have heard of but for now let's just focus on pure HTML. HTML works by providing a series of commands which your web browser then reads and performs so let's get started with the simplest web page possible what I'm going to do is create the uh, HTML folder here which I've already done obviously and we're going to create a text document so we're just going to close this down and we're going to right click click on new click on text document and we're going to rename this index.html now index is the first um, website that any uh, sorry, it's the first page on a website that any web browser will go towards. So if you go to uh, www.dcforman.co.uk, the first web page there that will be read by the web browser is index.html. You may have a bunch of other HTML pages on there, but that's the first one it's going to reference, and that page will link to all the others. So once we've done this, I'm just going to pop over so I pop open notepad and we're just going to drag and drop it on there to open up the file as you can see it's a completely blank file and all I'm going to do is type in hello world save that close the window then I'm just going to double click on the file open it up in Google and there you go you got hello world so you have just created a HTML page it is that simple everything else is just knowing uh, what the different tags are um, how to implement CSS and everything else but again we're going to focus on tags so we're going to progress on to the tag section of the um, tutorial now I've pre already prepared three sample HTML pages here we're going to have a look at the raw source code first so if we have a look at the first sample now you'll see that this is a tag and this ends a tag so whenever you start a tag you use the left arrow then B then right arrow then type in my text then left arrow again um, forward slash B and end tag sorry um, left arrow or right arrow, one of those anyway. You get what I mean, you can see what I'm doing on the screen. Uh, so what this is basically doing is telling the web, the web browser, which will read this text, to display this particular text as bold. Now you'll notice I've got a big range of different uh, commands here. So we've got B for bold, I for italic, U for underline, big for big, so nice simple things to understand, small for small. We've got uh, TT for teletype, which is a slightly different font style. You've got um, strike through, you've got uh, a way of putting your text into quotes, and we got center text. Now H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6 are heading heading sorry heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 heading 4 heading 5 and heading 6 um, I'll show you what this actually looks like in the browser so if we bring up the web browser here and if we split it across the screen so we've got them on both sides now you can see how our lines here um, correspond to the lines or the text displayed there so we've got B for bold and that is a nice big bold and in capitals which I've typed in there so it's reflecting the text perfectly and it's just put it in bold we've got I for italic and it's displayed the text in italic we got underlined 
we've got big, small, teletype, strike through, quote, and we've got center text. Now, the different headings um, will each occupy their own li line um, in different sizes. So for uh, H1 is a bit nice big heading and uh, H6 is the smallest heading. Uh, now, there are other co reasons for having um, headings in your documents, which again, we'll go into much later in our tutorials. But for now, we're just looking at the pure aesthetics and how it affects how the web page is displayed on the screen, which is a primary concern um, when anyone is producing a web page. How does it look? How is it laid out? How is it set up? So that is the simplest way possible. Now, you'll notice that all these lines here occupy different lines within the actual editor that is how it's saved and when I retrieve the file that's how it's formatted however this is ignoring all of that with the exception of the headings which automatically goes down a new line these formatting um, tags didn't do anything so uh, if I was to type in uh, this is my text and this is my text in bold now if I surround that with whoops with some tags and we save that file just hit F5 on the web browser and you'll see this is my text this is my text in bold so we haven't had to go down a line or anything else but it's very jumbled if I wanted to list or anything then this would be uh, a little bit bad so if we go on to our uh, sample 2 file now which I will again open up in notepad so this is our second file now this page is going to be quite different so we've got heading one which is where you'd expect the heading to be at the top of the page now we've also got a new tag here which is P P stands for paragraph now what paragraph does is it creates a block of text and it adds a line after that text um, the reason for paragraphs is fairly obvious no one likes a huge block of text all jumbled together um, in order to change subjects or, or just break up the text as you go down the page we use paragraphs as you would with a novel or a technical document in any word processor um, same rules apply as before we end the paragraph with a, um, a forward slash p so we got the uh, excuse me just go to the end of the page It should have that. <laughs> so basically, we'll end the page like that, and it will be, um, and that marks the end of the paragraph. And the same here. So we've got two separate paragraphs, and all we've done to create them is surround them in p tags. Nothing could be simpler. So we'll save that. A couple of mistakes there. And now we'll show you how it actually displays on the screen. So there we go. So now again we're going to have a, a quick comparison. Um, the other tags we were using was BR. BR stands for break. It's literally return on the keyboard if you want to imagine it that way. Um, but it's just a line break. So it goes down a line, goes down a line, goes down a line. So we've got the P here, which is this block of text here surrounded by P and then we got a line after it and we got a block of text here we got a line after it and then we got our list now in order to create the list rather than using paragraphs I've simply ended each line with um, BR that's all you need to do that will just take it down to the next line and create a nice simple list like that so as you can see HTML programming really isn't a big deal once you know what the tags are and once you, uh, uh, once you uh, start going on forums and stuff, you'll notice a lot of those use these tags as well. So as you're putting forum posts in and all sorts of things, then um, these tags may well come in useful there as well. So very basic HTML. So let's go on to our, um, our third and final sample. So we go on to sample three, which I'll drag on there and we've only got two extra lines now these lines are relating to um, creating a link on your page and an image on the page so again if we load it up into our browser 
Oops. You'll notice that we've now got exactly the same document as before, with exactly the same text there. The only difference is we've got a hypertext link, which will take me to my image, and we've got an image displayed on the actual web page itself. And these are the basic building components of any web page. Images, links to other pages, and basic text formatting. And that is all you need to get a very basic HTML page going. So again, let's have a look at these commands. It's slightly different, it's slightly more complicated. A stands for anchor. href stands for hypertext reference link. So uh, we've got the line here. So A href equals, then you need to surround your um, link or your website address um, in actual quotes. Um, then we end it with um, a right arrow. And we've typed in, uh, click to see my book cover exclamation mark. And we've ended the H reference there. And we've just typed in BR to go down to the new line. Now you'll notice that all this text here, the uh, HTTP colon double four slash HTML Daniel Charles form dot com blah 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 is all invisible to the user. That's all going on in the background. And that's all this command is basically doing is um, hiding that link and burying it into um, a set of text. So click to see my book cover, click on it, book cover appears, go back, and you can just click on it again anytime you like. Uh, obviously, you can change it to whatever you like simply by altering this text so um, click my link save that press F5 to refresh and it's changed and now the next one is along the similar lines only we don't need to end the tag because we're just displaying an image um, the command we're using is image then src equal it, equals um, basically means source so that's the source of the image then in the same way we did with HTML um, we just surrounded to the link to the actual image in quotes and ended the command there and that's all I needed to do and that is basically how you create a very simple HTML page with all the formatting you could possibly desire if you wish to uh, learn more about um, HTML, then please wait or go and visit my sorry, please wait for or go and visit my next tutorial as soon as it's available.